Hi, today I want to go over a screen recording process that I use for the HP X360. Because the X360 has limited disk space as standard and the processor is not ideally suited towards recording your screen. What you want to do is to find a service, I, I use ScreenR.com, which is a, an online service, uh, also known as SAS, or Software as a Service. And once you go to ScreenR.com, you can record five minute videos for free. doesn't cost anything. What you need to do, though, is to sign in with either your Twitter, Facebook, Google, or Yahoo. And I'm going to sign in using Facebook. I've already created my sign-in. It welcomes me, gives me the option of signing out. Now, what you need in order to successfully record a video is that you have to have Java installed on your computer. I don't believe it's installed as default. But the first time you launch the screen recorder, it will detect whether you have Java installed or not. And just a, a note on that, once you do have Java installed, you need to go to the Security tab and add ScreenR to your site list of applications allowed to access Java. So, if we launch the screen recorder now, as you can see it's detecting Java, which it will be able to do because I've already got it installed, and it will go through and load the screen recorder. And you basically just choose, I tend to choose full screen, and click the red button to record. You get a countdown and you press Alt plus D when it's done. So if we just do a quick test video here and I'll move the mouse around the screen to let you see that it's recording that. Just for a minute or two press Control uh, sorry, Alt and D to stop it and press Done. You can see I've recorded 24 seconds of video which is well within the, the 5 minutes. Just give it a description of test. and click on Publish. You can also delete it from there if you want to as well. Once it's published up onto Screen R service, which just takes a couple of minutes, you can see you've got a, a bunch of options that you can do. One is to download the MP4 file so that you can then put it on a blog or uh, other website that you have. Publish direct to YouTube or you can delete the screencast once again. You can share the screencast for instance to Facebook or Twitter and you can also get the embed code which you would need 
for any site that you're putting it on. If we have a look at play, go ahead and play that. You can see the mouse is moving around on the screen. Under normal circumstances you would get the voice track as well, but it's not on that particular one because I'm recording from a, another screen capture software. So once you're done, you basically just save, it's already saved in your, your account. So if you go to My Screencasts, you can see that test was added to your screencast library one minute ago and that just about covers us thanks for watching see you in the next video